If you see me in Chicago in a dirty car, you didn't see me. That was not me. <laughs> Welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. My name is Jordan and today we're going to be decluttering my closet. I feel like that's a terrible way to start. Y'all, it's just like, you know when you clean out your closet, the cleaning out part is cool. Like picking everything out and being like, I don't want this anymore. I still want this. That's cool and fun and all. But the part I don't like is the cleanup because I'm going to mess my apartment up in the process. So that's why I am... Um, struggling with that i've been holding back on it for a while but i didn't want to put away my like winter fall clothes yet because we've been having some chilly days but yeah like even you could see like at the beginning of the video we got the spring vibes going we're into like the spring flowers right now i've been putting together my own arrangements um so yeah it's time for me to just see a slight winter clothes it's honestly like depressing at this point i want to tackle my regular closet where i keep most of my clothing even though it's like kind of small it fits the most things and then after that I want to go into you guys know my Ikea pack system that I keep for extra storage all I hear is chores 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 in my head right now um yeah I have a lot of clothes y'all they're, they're kind of just in many various places so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and start with the closet clean out I'm gonna get right into it this week okay cuz I if I wait any longer <laughs> it may never happen uh... Okay, let's go. Like this is even another spot that I keep clothes at on this clothing rack, but it's pretty much gonna be empty after I'm done because pretty much everything that's on it is like heavy sweaters, heavy heavy coats, puffer coats, fur coats. Those need to go, but let me show y'all what I did. So this is where I keep most of my clothes. I told you my closet was tiny if you've never seen it. Um, what I did uh, last week was these bins down here they kind of stuck okay because i really cram everything in here and let me just show y'all so these these bins down here used to hold all of the vintage that i thought i was going to do something with if you guys don't know i used to kind of make part of my living off of vintage reselling like a couple years ago and when i moved i brought the pieces that i thought would be worth me you know kind of still trying to curate and sell in my vintage shop i've stopped that vintage shop for like a long time now honestly um hold on we'll get into it in a second but i just want to show you the the empty places where we'll be putting some winter clothes um anyways i've stopped doing that shop like a long time ago now to be honest it's just it takes so much time and it wasn't worth the time and the money that I was getting out of it. Like when I was living at home with my parents, it was cool. Also, my channel was smaller and it wasn't bringing in as much revenue as well as my socials. So it was a good little side hustle for a little minute. And I thought that I was going to continue it when I got here. But then I just started diving so much into like content. And like I said, it just wasn't worth like the time it really takes to put into it. Like if you know, you know. I just decided to bite the bullet and now all of those bags are sitting in my car by the time I put this video out they'll be at the some donation center I'm not sure where but whoever goes there is gonna be a very happy vintage shopper because there were a lot of good pieces in there but I just I did not have the will or the time to sit and like curate it again so but the good thing about that is now I have somewhere to put all of these winter clothes like I feel like Pretty much all my fall and winter clothes are probably going to fit in these two bins because they're huge. Like, I feel like camera's not doing it justice. So, pretty much all of this right here, like all of this that's just too hot to wear, it's going to be down there. So, I'm going to be able to see everything that I have for like summer and spring 
much much better which is gonna make my outfits much much better which is gonna make me not spend too much money because I can actually see everything I own so let's go through what we got in here because some of this stuff I don't even want all right I think y'all can see me this is so many clothes like when I tell you this is not all my clothes I I have clothes coming out of my ears um so this is what I normally do when I get to a certain season I do like a closet clean out at least twice a year and so the last time I did it is when we were transitioning like it's a fall winter so we got out of summer and so the other times that I like to do it is when we're transitioning into spring and summer so what I like to do is look at the past year or not past year but the past fall and winter if I did not wear something and it's not something that's like a special occasion item or something that's like worth a lot that I'm going to use for whatever if it's just some regular regular item that I did not look at try and pick up walk out the house in style the outfit with like it needs to go because clearly you don't like it like so we're gonna look through here see what we got that I do not like actually I need my headphones because I cannot sit here and do this in silence all right, now we're ready. By the way, if y'all see my underwear, which you see them right now, it's okay, they're clean. I'm in my house, this is a lounge skims dress. It's meant for lounging, I'm lounging, kind of, in public on YouTube. All right, so, I already see a couple of things I do not want. This little corset thingy, it's just, it was cute when I was a little bit younger. Now it kind of just, I'm, I'm going to be honest and brutally honest with myself, okay? It's too, like, it just gets cheap and it's not, it's not how I want to display myself. Ooh. Let me not say that because y'all are going to see a lot of raunchy crop tops. And then, then y'all going to be like, well, that looks cheap. And I'll be like, well, I like that kind of cheap. Okay, it's not the kind of cheap that I'm trying to give. All right, this one right here, this is spring, summer. I may wear it, I may not. If it, if this does not get worn in the spring, summer, it will be gone by fall. So we're going to hold on to it for now, actually. Let's put it over here. I have a better version of this bodysuit. I did not wear this bodysuit. I don't know if I've ever worn it. I think I may have worn it like for a shoot, but I have a better version that's like feather trim. It's higher quality, a little more expensive. Yeah, this one, again, is kind of just a little too cheap for kind of what I gravitate towards nowadays. And I'm, I'm speaking out loud so you guys can kind of maybe take this with you in your closet and ask yourselves these questions and maybe they'll help you declutter if you're someone who likes to hold on to stuff. This is what I meant when I had an example of something that maybe for a certain occasion, I have this Chicago Bulls jersey. I live in Chicago. There may be an occasion where I need this jersey. Okay, so at this point, you can see I decided to just go the voiceover route with speeding up because I got rid of so many clothes. So you can see I've not trash, but I've gotten rid of this oversized sweater, this vest. I'm keeping this. I've never worn this dress, but I feel like it's very vintage tea party. I know I'm talking, but we're, we're going to talk over it. It's okay. Um, but I'm going to keep it just in case, you know, I might get invited to a little tea party where that will come in handy. You guys, this just felt so good to just actually go through and get rid of things there's just something about getting rid of things and i i might just be old now because i don't think this excited me the way it does nowadays but it also might be because i kind of have my own space i'm responsible for it i pay for it so it also might be like a pride thing now that i'm thinking about it and talking about it out loud I think growing up when I wasn't responsible for myself and living in someone else's space, I just didn't take as much pride. Like, it was just kind of like, let's get this as cluttered as we can get it, you know? I don't know. You get what I'm saying. But yeah, I couldn't believe how many of these pieces I actually even held on to. I feel like as the years go by, like, my taste level just gets more intense as you can see i have a whole bunch of white button downs i just feel like you can never have too many white button downs but also use that as an opportunity to get rid of all the dingy ones because you can have too many dingy white button downs so we did get rid of those this also helped me look through my closet and see what i already have see what is missing what things i'd like to contribute more of i say this all the time to myself and probably to you guys i would love to do more color but I don't know i just don't know if i would wear a ton of color if i bought it i don't know we're, we're gonna see this summer stay tuned <laughs>
But yeah, a lot of the stuff that I got rid of was simply due to the fact that it is just kind of cheaper material and cheaper stuff. Not saying that I won't shop like cheaper things, like I go to Zara all the time, but some things are just not executed the way I want them to be with me being a 25 year old woman. I'll be turning 26 years old this year. There's just certain things that I won't wear at a certain age. I think a lot of this stuff would do very well in my little sister's closet. So that's why I'm kind of letting it go. Not saying that clothes have a certain age. It's just my taste. When it comes to my age, I kind of base it off of that. I feel like you can really wear anything you want at any age. And I feel like today's more mature women are definitely proving that. Like, I don't know if you guys follow any of them, but there are definitely some more mature women on Instagram who have convinced me that I will forever wear hot girl clothes. But yeah, some of these, the material is just not standing up to, I want, to what I want it to be. So it can be hot girl. It just gotta, it gotta come with a little bit more material, a little bit more quality, you know? All right, so we're gonna take a break from clothes for a second because I still have this little bottom row. But I have some shoes up here and then I also have some shoes down here. So I kind of just want to go through them. Obviously make them look better because they are really out of whack right now. Not that you can see them anyways because my clothes be hanging up so you really can't see them. But I know I want to keep these because I actually wear these heels. They're super cute. And they're actually really durable. So that's a good thing, we're keeping those. I don't get to wear these a lot, but when I do, when I do, the outfit is cute. So we're gonna keep those as well. These are kind of impractical to me nowadays. Like, I don't mind a platform, but I need some type of security. Like, platforms are easy to walk in, but I need a strap, something. Like, I just never gravitate towards these because they're just kind of difficult to wear. I don't choose them a lot because they're kind of very similar to my Alexander McQueen heels, which obviously I'm gonna pick more often, but sometimes they're cute, so we're gonna keep those. Summer's coming. I don't know if I'm gonna wear these or not, to be honest, but we'll hold on to them just to see because we haven't hit summer yet. I just did a major, major, major billboard photo shoot with these shoes. They asked me to bring my shoes. They had some on hand, but they just wanted to see like if I had anything that would look cool with what they were sourcing. And they ended up picking these shoes, which are like these vintage, really cool, like retro-ish um, wooden heels. But they went through so much on that shoe. Like, I just feel like they're deteriorating after that. And I don't want to wear a shoe that's deteriorating. Um, so we're going to have to say goodbye to them. They had a nice run. I feel like them they're going to be on a billboard by the end of the year. So I feel like that's kind of major. I feel like they got they did what they need to do that was that was a good way for them to go out i literally never wear these i don't know why they just don't scream jordan to me i don't wear these a ton it's honestly because i forget that they exist if i see them more often i feel like i would wear them more often we're gonna hold on to them because they are really really cute i just they be hiding you know all right now we need to look at the top shoe let's see okay so Oh, these right here, I didn't wear these at all over the fall and winter, I don't believe. They were really cute for me at one point, but again, I don't know. Like, I feel like every year my taste goes up, and that's not a good thing for my pockets, okay? Um, I'm just going to show you guys the ones that I'm actually getting rid of, not the ones I'm keeping up here. Just because I don't feel like taking them down. So these are some that definitely need to go. I feel like I almost get rid of these like every year. And I think this is the year I'm finally going to get rid of them. Because you know why? I look at them and I'm like, these are so cute. They're vintage, zebra print. I think it's like authentic fur on them. But I never wear them. Because I'm going to be honest, I'm not a zebra print girl. Like, And I just have to face that. It's, it's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. No matter how hard I try to make it happen. So we're just going to let those go as well. Oh, these definitely got to go. <laughs> these been up here getting dusty. These are definitely going because when I bought those Rick Owens versions of these, these basically just said RIP. Like they never saw the day of light ever again after that because they just are dull in comparison. They were cool for a little minute. I'm grateful for having them when I did, but they got to go. Oh, I just feel so much better. Oh, 
more room for more shoes. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys how many hangers I have now that I have gotten rid of stuff and put away my winter clothes. Like, this is why I didn't go and buy more hangers when I ran out. I literally had like one spare hanger, y'all. I have clothes sitting like on the side of my bed because I could not hang them up. So now I can hang them up. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang up like those spare clothes. The closet, it doesn't look like Obviously, you can't get too crazy. Okay, so clearly we did not finish yesterday. Like, I did finish, but I didn't show you guys what I finished. Um, but hey, it's a new day. It's, um, what are we on? What day is it? Oh, is it Tuesday? Please be Tuesday. I hope it's Tuesday because I have to release a video on Thursday. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, so I'm not done. We're gonna go ahead and finish today, but I did finish the closet. So let me show you guys that. By the way, this is how many bags of things that I got rid of. And this is just out of this closet. Like I have another mini closet and then um, a couple of other places where I put clothes. But it's just way more organized right now. And I feel so much better. Like imagine like it's it's like a weight has been lifted off my shoulder. Literally because th these are weights. Okay, so let's see. So it's not perfect. But this is just how I arranged it because I wanted to be able to see things a certain way. So I put like tans and stuff up here because I do kind of color code my clothes. Now that I'm looking at this, this is kind of cream. But it's okay. It's like cream tans right there. Uh, I put whites right here. And then I put blues right here. The reason I set it up like this is because you guys know like it's spring, summer. Not that I don't wear black and stuff um, during those times. But these are the things I want to be able to see the best. So I lined them up like that. Uh, we put a little bit of pink right here. I don't have too much pink, but I wanted to be able to see that as well. And then all the blacks and the grays are kind of right there because I don't want to look at those like all the time. So that's how I arranged that. And then down here, I kind of just followed the same color scheme. We did the creams, the whites. We went into the blues. <laughs> the one pair of pink pants I have. Blacks. And then I think these are two-piece sets, I want to say. Oh, no. I, I, I forgot I dispersed the two piece sets according to their colors and then we got greens and then random colors that I don't want to see in the middle of this and then these are just some light jackets that I put back here just in case it's like a chilly day but all of my coats and stuff are packed down here sweaters all those things I do have some more inside of my like coat closet but that's what we're working with right now and also have room to put away some more shoes up here because I did get rid of some shoes that I showed you guys. Alright, so the next project is going to be my Ikea closet system. Y'all, I'm so excited. Somebody was just asking me when I'm planning on moving from this apartment. I've got quite a while inside this apartment. 
So it's gonna be a minute before I can expand how many closet Ikea pieces I get. But y'all, the day that I get a new apartment, we are getting, hopefully, if I can find something that's like bigger, I would really love to be able to make like a whole room into one of these, like just closet pieces. Um, but for now, I just use it to display like my cute stuff. But the biggest thing about it, um, I didn't want a dresser, so I kind of use my Ikea Pax piece as a dresser. So like, these are all my night clothes. Like I can barely open the drawer right now. Um, <laughs> these are all of my workout clothes. It looks a mess. You can see all the way from over there. And then um, these are like, this is a mixture between my underwear and some like sweatpants sets that I have, bras, things like that, socks. Like I just, it's very unorganized right now so I wanna tackle that. But my main thing, as you can see like, the drawer is barely opening. I honestly can go through here and declutter this quite a bit because there's, like, as far as my loungewear, there's things that I don't ever, like, gravitate towards and pull out and wear. So I'm going to try and just keep that more concise. And then the last one, um, I'm also going to try to purge, like, a ton of underwear, like, if I've had them a little too long. What I'm excited about the most is I actually did order some organizers um from ikea it's gonna be able to make my drawer a lot more concise a lot more organized because i want to be one of them girlies that you guys know the girls that be doing the little tight folds and they put it inside their closet and it's like wow like everything is the same size because she folded it a certain way i feel like i want to do that and i feel like these organizers are gonna help me so let's open this box honestly i should consider getting the last drawer put in at the bottom here because now it's kind of bothering me looking at these shoes I wonder if my boyfriend knows how to do that. Because <laughs> I do have the bottom drawer. Um, it's on top of my closet system because I never put it in because it came in so much later. It came in stock so much later than the rest of this. And I think it's a glass panel one too. That's the only problem. Because I'll probably... Never mind. Never mind. But I, I, I kind of want to see if I can get that put in. Because this, this is irritating me. It didn't irritate me for the longest because I had so many bulky shoes and I was like, oh, it'll be good for that. But now, I want to use it. I feel like the older I get, the more, like, particular I get. Like, I, I'm naturally at heart, like, a very lax person. Like, you can ask me anything and I'll be like, you'll ask me my opinion or what I'd rather do. And I'll be like, I do not care. Like, I don't care. But now, I feel like the older I get, I'm like, ugh, I care. I care and it's bothering me. Okay, so I did get some new towels, but we're not worried about that right now. This is what we're worried about. Um, so these are called the Stoop. This is supposed to be like a longer organizer. So that's going to be for like my bigger things. Like the sweatsuits. Um, some more stuck. Stoop. I think it's stuck because it doesn't have the, um, you guys know what goes over the U. Stuck. <laughs> I sound crazy. ended up running out who organizers I really thought that I overbought them and I did not so I'm probably just gonna order some more uh, sometime today and then just finish it another day but you guys saw the gist of it you saw like it improved my drawer so much like it looked so so much better 
and then I got rid of a ton of stuff. I don't know if I would say that I feel like it saved me room per se because I did get rid of a lot of stuff and um I don't know. I don't know if it saved me room but I can tell you it looks a million times better and it's easier to find things so there's that but right now actually it's such a nice day and this is gonna be the nicest day of the week i think it's like 75 degrees right now outside i'm actually gonna take a little break um we're not gonna do any more closet cleaning for the rest of the day i'm gonna touch back on it probably sometime this week um because yeah it's i just need to finish that this week but yeah i just want to take some time out to go get some vitamin d because i have been majorly lacking it uh, in Chicago, it's the weather has not been super nice. So whenever the weather's nice, I try my best to like get outside at least for 30 minutes. I don't know, but I, it, I can see my pool from the um, from my window, and it looks like everybody took all the cute couches. Not the cute couches, like it's not cute, but it's like the most comfortable ones that get the most access to the sun. And I wanted to sit right there. I guess I'll be quicker than that. I was looking down there earlier. I'm like, I think. People were out there by 12. Mind you, it's a Tuesday afternoon. I'm sitting there looking, and it's real bold of me to sit here and even have this thought. I'm sitting there looking like, y'all ain't got a job? <laughs> go to work. Y'all ain't got a job? Go to work. And then I'm sitting here like, well, Jordan, you literally at home right now. So can you really say that? Not really. But also, I'm working. I'm not outside. I'm just trying to figure out how everybody be getting out to the pool by 12 p.m. In the middle of the week. Because I can't even make it out at that time and I work for myself. So may maybe that's the gag. Maybe if I worked in corporate, maybe I would be able to make it outside by 2 p.m. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Y'all let me know. If you work from home and you work at a job that lets you go to the pool by 2 p.m., let me know what you do. Okay? Because I want to know. I think we all want to know. Because I want to be at the pool. Um, But yeah, I'm about to get ready for that. The dash is busy, the schedule busy, my head in a hoodie, my shorty a goody, my cousins are crazy, my cousin like book. Life is amazing, it is what it should be. Been here for ten, but I feel like a rookie. I tell her look up, cause it's snowing in tussies. But for three years, man, you can't even book me. It's me and little baby that's going crazy. Weezy produced it and Weezy have made me and she held it down, so she got him a mistake. Here you guys saw I did go to the pool. It didn't last long, okay? Um yeah, it did not last long. The building next to us was blocking the sun the whole time. So even though it was 78 degrees, it felt like 65 because the sun was being covered up for the most part. Um, and then I didn't get any reading done because my friend, my best friend called me and I was caught up in her little stories and her escapades. You guys know, like I'm in a relationship, but for the most part, most of my friends are single. So I always tell them like I love listening to their stories because I feel like I'm vicariously living through them. I don't really want to live their life, but I love, like, because it's just personally not for me. Like, I'm definitely, like, naturally, well, I wouldn't say I'm a monogamous person. Like, I definitely have been single, and I was thriving then, too. But I feel like I can thrive either way. Like, I, I do well in relationships, and I also do well on my own. Um, but I think I do well in relationships because I'm also naturally not a person. Like, I don't find a lot of people relationship wise interesting so it's hard for me like it was hard for me to entertain people and actually be intrigued with them and I feel like it would especially be even harder for me now like I feel like every year that would get more difficult the older I grow anyways yeah I was just listening to her stories because she's been traveling and like just experiencing experiences in different countries and stuff so it's just really it's really fun to listen to and to hear um, so yeah, I didn't get any any reading done. Um, but on the plus side, even though I did not finish organizing my drawers, I actually did find more organizers on Amazon. Some of them are really expensive, but I managed to find some that were a pretty good price for like a ton of them. I can link them down below and when I organize them next week, because I probably honestly won't vlog it, I'll just insert the clip after this so you guys can see how those work but i will link those down below we can see that i'm still walking around with this claw clip i'll probably rinse this out of my hair probably tomorrow because i just don't want to go to bed with wet hair well 
what's up y'all we have made it to what is it friday it's actually like friday evening and clearly i have places to be things to do um but yeah i'm just finishing getting ready uh i had did my makeup way earlier so now i'm just kind of touching it up but pretty much going to dinner with um a couple of friends as always, it is up for debate and up for seeing just what happens to see if we do anything else. We're kind of, I think we're kind of down to do something, but y'all know I'm always like, I never really have set plans. It's always like something can happen, something could not happen. We just really be running with the wind. Unfortunately, it's a little chilly today. Like I actually wish that it was not. That way I could comfortably wear what I'm wearing today. I'm loving like summer makeup. Even though summer has not come in yet, like I've definitely been hitting all the pinks, all the highlighter. I've been hitting the highlighter hard, as you can see. Yep. Hitting with some setting spray. I wish I had the effort to do my baby hairs whenever I wear my hair down. Because I see some curly girls do that. I don't be having the effort though. This is just my body butter from Spruce Beauty and Marshmallow gonna make me really sh oh hold on i love flashing y'all that should be like <laughs> like a segment in the channel at this point i live for that i'm feeling cute i feel like being kind of classic today i've been in a classic mood lately i'm sure it's not gonna last i don't even know why i do this to myself why am i putting on heels now to be miserable in to walk around in oh well we're gonna be cute I'll see y'all when I get there. You fuck with a stone cold sinner. Fucking with me, you got no regrets. Fucking on me, no, I do it best. Fucking on you, only want the net. I know how it goes. They fall in love every time he kiss me. Oh my god, you look like a giant. <laughs> Wait, let me see that where you are. We're really gonna see how tall you are. I'm fine. I'm gonna be like, why are y'all always comparing y'all? <laughs> Every time you come guys. over here. I'm five four. We're gonna take a little cute little shot, guys. I'm five six. You're five six. Okay. But people think I'm five foot nine. Really? I think yeah. you, know, you do look really, really tall. Thank you. This is juice, trust me. I wish I was five foot nine. Cheers. You said I can take it in sips though, so is it I mean, you probably won't need to. It's not strong, it's just a lot of juice. <laughs> I know, it's not strong at all. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I can't drink that. <laughs> it's me about to have another one. I'm gonna have a good night. It's actually really good. I know, this is my favorite drink of all time. Mm. Okay. What is it you're mixing this? Let me show you. It's coconut, Malibu, and pineapple. I really taste the coconut. That's good. These two together. That right Bum. there. That right there. You can have another one if you want. Oh no, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. Because I know we about to get a little drinky drink when we get out. We're going to try and get um, walk-ins at Alavita, which is the best restaurant. Seriously, if you ever come to Chicago and you are looking for Italian food, Alavita. It's so good. So good. So good. And we get the same thing, right? Yes. The, the vodka pasta. Yeah, the alabaca, vodka. Everything. <laughs> Amazing. Look, I would be so disappointed if they turn us away at the door because I already You know what? It. I don't think they'll turn us away, but they'll probably just say, like, it'll be like 10, 20 wait. minutes. Me too. I'll wait. We'll see y'all there. Well, well, well. And you always right on time. Wait, hello. <laughs> it's so dark. <laughs> Goodness, no, don't put her there. <laughs> 26. We're not ready yeah, for that. 26. <laughs> yes. I love to one though. Oh wait, I have my phone. Do you want my phone or no? What do you want? Oh, you're, you'll be 25. So you're 98, baby. I guess so. Okay, we're 97. Hey, let's get it. 
97. Okay, let's use this work when me and my friend had an Uber. She used her flashlight on me. But tell me if this And I do no flashlight, right? I mean, no flash. Um, yeah. I think you should do front and look side. Let me switch real quick. Yeah. Because I'm just not realizing that this is my side. <laughs> Guys, I'm being complicated. I'm sorry. It looks. <laughs> I'm not trying to kill us, but I'm like, something is off. It's that this is my good side. Well, here, give me that so that's not in your picture. <laughs> Watch how much more I give. I sit on this side too so I can have my good side. <laughs> if y'all see me in Chicago, if y'all happen to live here, if you see me in Chicago, dirty car super dirty you didn't see me that was not me you might be wondering well, why didn't you just schedule a car wash appointment i did i did schedule it i think i scheduled it the day before yesterday for yesterday and apparently i didn't schedule it for this week's friday i scheduled it for next week's friday so i was upset you need to pick a lane yeah do you know what a signal light is because you don't just get in a lane because you want to get in the lane. You use a signal light. You don't just randomly decide. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, these people cannot drive. Anyways, um, and they be honking at you for things that they be doing. Like, what you honking at me for? This is about you. You did this. Anyways, so yeah, I scheduled it for the wrong day. And now I got to walk around or drive around with a dirty car. But I did manage to um, schedule it further ahead so instead i'm gonna get it done at the beginning of the week so i don't have to wait a whole other week y'all we had a time last night so it ended up actually just being two of us because kennedy told her friend the wrong day or she didn't tell her friend the wrong day but she didn't specify what day she wanted her to hang out and this girl lives in the suburbs so it was just kind of a stretch for her to like get ready and drive and get here all like at night and it turned out to be really fun actually we went to Olivita as you guys saw with where I had that pasta y'all Olivita 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 whatever it is my favorite it is my favorite restaurant in Chicago Chicago I would say and honestly anyone who's eating there like they will all say like it's just so good like if you're ever in Chicago put that on your list of things to eat uh and then we headed to this club called blind barber that's pretty much where we go a lot like we we go to some other clubs sometimes but i feel like we go to blind barber like the most and blind barber it's like stay in the right lane hold on it's basically this stay in the right lane there's no room in the right lane i'm gonna have to stay in the left lane it's basically like an actual barber shop, but in the back there is a nightclub. So, yeah, and it's popping at night too. But anyways, we went there and it was just us two. Like, I don't typically go out with just two people, but it's her birthday weekend. All of, like almost all of her friends are out of town right now, so we had to make do with what we have. But also because of that, come on, y'all. I need somebody to go. But anyways, so we don't typically go out with just two people, but it's her birthday, so we're trying to make the most of the weekend. And it actually did turn out to be really fun. But I did drink more than I usually allow myself to drink because I was trying to, you know, celebrate with my friend. Like, that's like one of the reasons, like I have different occasions for when I will drink a little bit more and if it's a friend's birthday especially if we're in that small of a setting with two people i don't want it to just be her you know drink it and, and that's not to say like if you're with your friend and you don't like alcohol you should drink because they're drinking that's just a personal thing for me like i don't want them to feel like alone in it and especially since i do drink alcohol like i just I may not match them all the time but i'm gonna I'm do i'm gonna pull my weight or whatever but that's not to say like I wasn't super drunk I was just a little tipsy um but yeah we had a good time we actually ran into one of our friends there if if you know Chicago you know that it's a very they purposely play certain music to kind of weed out certain audiences that's not good but that's just how Chicago rolls so yeah we don't really be 
everywhere we have select places where we like to go but those select like places they're pretty fun and blind barber is one of those but blind barber what i like i think about that the most and i was just telling my boyfriend about this earlier because i was explaining like how the night went blind barber is the most diverse club like i've ever been to like it's always like every race there like there's asians there's white people there's black people there's latinos like everybody goes to blind barber and i wouldn't even say it's like a majority of any of those maybe majority black slightly but it's it's very mixed um, and so I think that's why I like to go there because of how diverse it is. Like, I wish more clubs were like that, but I mean, obviously, that's a reach. All right, let's see. We're going to have to find a park. I love finding parking. No, I don't. And then in Chicago, they be talking about saying, you can't park here and you can't park here. It's really annoying. Um, but yeah, we had a good time last night, but I'm meeting up with her again because we were supposed to shoot content yesterday and we didn't end up shooting content. So that's what we're going to do today. Just in case you guys are wondering like, dang, like you be all up in this girl face. Like it's her birthday weekend. So that is why uh, I'm seeing her so, so much. Not that I'm against seeing her any other weekend all weekend, but I'm just telling you there's a, there's a reason for it. Um, let me see. So I'm about to head up to her apartment. And we're gonna shoot some content. My brain hurts. <laughs> Let me see. All you gotta do is take this out and then turn this sideways. Hold on here. You hold the camera. <laughs> I'm vlogging. I'm like, oh, are you vlogging? Yeah. Hi. Yeah, Jordan, all of her stuff. I'm like, can I use your stuff? And every single time she gives it to me, I don't even know what to do. Like, my brain is doing that thing with like all the question marks. I'm like, here you go. Okay. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh -uh. oh. <laughs> somebody just stood it right where she was taking pictures. Mm -hmm. Wait, <laughs> we're using this wall right here. The wall is took. <laughs> Maybe you just go stand oh. over there. I'm sorry. I'm gonna take a picture. Is it recording? Is what recording? Oh. Yeah, it's recording. Do you want me to actually take pictures of you or do you want me to just act like I'm taking pictures? Alright, we just took oh snap, hold on. We we're a little blurry. A little blurry. We, oh, it's because I'm in portrait mode. I've been vlogging in portrait mode. Because we were taking pictures. <gasps> Anyways, what I was saying when we were all blurry, we just got done taking Kennedy's birthday pictures. And this is her birthday outfit. Right. Yeah, it is horrible right here. Wait, right there. There we go. Because y'all like to see everybody's outfits. This is Kennedy's birthday outfit. Cute two-piece. Got the white heels. Yes, ma'am. Wait, wait, wait. The Bottega dupes. Y'all got to get into Dupe. these Bottega dupes. Dupe. I'm going to have to get me some. <laughs> Oh, there you are. Not my tag sticking out. Kennedy, you ain't even on the job. I'm sorry. What? No, no. It's because you double, you triple rolled it. Here, redo it one more time. I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you paying me for? <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry. That would have been it, but her tag was sticking out, and I forgot to tell her. Also, kind of wanted to be really more extra with the skirt and like hold it up. Okay. I cannot put the lip gloss on again though. Well, I guess I could. Why? I don't know. Ooh, that was a shot. Oh, you got to go ahead. I'll work around you. Oh, okay, thanks so much. She's so nice. She said, I'll work around you. I think you don't like that. That was good. The last um, 10 seconds were really good. 
right here. Ooh. That's so cute. Come on, Chanel bag. <laughs> Come on, put some oomph into the wall. Act like you got places to go. <laughs> See, now I gotta add my voice in because you play it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you were about to give me the, uh -uh. the Beyonce long stride. <laughs> she gave me the, I, I just have a destination to get to. <laughs> I'm so weak, y'all. How cute is this restaurant? We're gonna have to come back over here. It's too cute. If you want to find this little bit, yeah. like, I feel like you never know that my computer like curves until like you actually wear something. Everybody's <laughs> eyes is just like... Yeah. So you're saying the guys we just walked by, they definitely would say something to you about this outfit? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you guys, this is completely out of context. I don't think we were vlogging, but we I was taking Kennedy's pictures earlier. And this guy first stopped and he was like, do you want me to take a picture of both of you guys? Oh, yeah. He's like, do you want me to take a picture of both of you guys? And me and Jordan were like, oh. Subway. Oh yes. Do you feel comfortable going in there in this outfit? Yeah. Okay. I was like, yeah, no, we're okay. And then he was like, well, what's the occasion? And I was like, no, Jordan was like, it's your birthday. And I thought he was gonna walk away. And he's like, how old? 21, 22. And then I said, a little older. And I, we kept trying to like shut it down. And then he, what did he say to that? Jordan was like, you should never ask a woman her age. Oh yeah. And he started like, explaining his joke. He stood there. <laughs> <laughs> like and it, it wasn't even what he was saying it was the way he was standing and looking at Kennedy it was just weird it was like he wanted to eat her or something I didn't think I was gonna be able to show you guys these but I'm able to show y'all hold on there we go it was getting too intimate <laughs> all right Ooh. I'm letting stuff fall out these are small what is this all right so like I said, I ran out of storage organizers for my IKEA packs, and so I just went on Amazon and ordered some more. Hold on, it's still short. There we go. Four because it was just too much of a process to go and get them from IKEA, and I have them. They're here. I was gonna show them to you before I actually put them into the space. Are we going lower? We're definitely going lower. That's why I keep adjusting. What's wrong with my tripod? Uh-uh. Anyways. So, I picked up some more organizers off of Amazon. Now, the first ones they were showing me, I just didn't want to pay that for the amount of organizers they were not giving me. But I did find some that came in different colors. Something must be wrong. So, this makes sense. This one opens up, right? This one opens up. What is this? Is this just the casing of it? Maybe this just holds it. Don't, don't make me feel dumb right now. Oh, I think that is what that is. I think these are just holding it together or something. I'm sure there's some purpose for it, but the actual organizers are in between it. So this is what they look like. So they have, oh, these are dividers, I think. Gotcha. Okay, so anyways, so I'm assuming this is how it goes. I was confused because the other ones I bought don't come with dividers, so I'm like, what do I need this for? Oh, if you need to divide up. Oh. <laughs> Y'all, I'm making stuff up. I was making stuff <laughs> That is not what that is supposed to do. This is supposed to go at the bottom. If you were already saying that behind the screen, we're not friends. I'm just kidding, but I'm hurt. I have had two slow moments in less than five minutes and this is not okay. There we go. There we go. We got that one and the bottom to it. Then this one goes with this one. This is actually better than the Ikea ones because the Ikea ones are kind of more flimsy, but these stay up because they're much like harder. This is another big one. So I actually ended up getting two sets of these just in case because I didn't want to have to deal with not having enough again. So I'm assuming these are for like something much tinier. So like if I had a lot of boxer shorts because I stuff do my loungewear drawer, my boxer shorts could all go like inside here. My robes could go inside of here because it's really big. And then um, what could go in here? Maybe like my sleep shorts and my sleep tanks, they can go in here. But yeah, I just want to show you guys those. Um, I'm actually going to link them down below. 
I've been doing something easier for myself. I've been just putting, if I'm linking something from Amazon, I've just been putting in my Amazon storefront link down there. So it's just going to be a link that says Amazon storefront and you'll find these. And I'm going to put it underneath decor. So that way you can just go to my decor tab. Because otherwise, y'all, if I don't do it that way with Amazon things, I have to go and find every single thing that I have, even though I've already organized it like another day through my Amazon storefront and I have to go and find every single link for each item throughout my order so it's just easier for me to do it this way saves me a teensy bit of time in the editing process so yeah you can go and check that out uh, let's see what this is looking like inside the drawers okay so that was easy enough uh, i'm gonna organize my lounger in it later probably tonight because oh i had some more of those because i'm not done folding it if you want to figure out how to fold that way there's like tons of tutorials i'll show you multiple clothing articles that will show you how to fold it in a way where the clothing stands up by itself so just look up how to properly fold pants for organization for drawer organization or something like that like the key word i would say is like drawer organization because you're folding it for drawers so look that up that's really helpful or that was really helpful for me um so you guys saw how many of those fit inside of my top drawer i actually didn't even open well this is open but i actually didn't even put any of the second package in so that's just one package minus another one of these because I forgot to put this one in there, which is why we had that one odd little cube. But that's good, knowing I got another one left. So, yeah, I would probably do this before I would do the Ikea ones again, just because the structure is better on them. And I think they're like the same price. I'm going to have a time with that, especially because I've been doing like more routine videos on social media. So that's just going to be really helpful for that. Um, But yeah, I'm actually going to get ready to close the vlog out. I'm not even sure how long this one is, but... You guys told me whatever I got, that's that's what I give. So I'm not going to try to make it longer or shorter. Whatever I got is just what I'm going to give. <laughs> but I'm going to holler at y'all in the next vlog. But don't forget to hit the like button if you did enjoy watching this video. It helps my channel out so much and I always appreciate it. But yeah, I will see y'all in the next vlog. Love you so, so much. Mwah.